Okay, this is page three of your notes, and we are switching it up. In our first two pages, we are looking at angle measurements. We are switching over to segment measurements now. We're looking at the segment measurements of intersecting chords, secants, and tangents. So you're seeing three different um, opportunities here, okay? And unfortunately, the formulas are all different for all three. Okay, let's start over here. I call the, these are called intersecting so, uh, chords and they are on the inside of the circle, which is a big deal, okay? If it's inside of the circle, the formula goes, and I have it labeled here, the formula for this particular triangle would be A times B is equal to C times D. Now, I think that's going to be really hard to understand if the numbers and letters all change. So I like to have kind of a set pattern. I'm calling it part one times part two within one chord is equal to part one times part two in the other chord. So part one, I'm going to highlight in purple. That's where the A and B come from. Part two, I'm going to highlight in orange. That's where the C and D come from. Okay, now if we have an intersection on the outside of the circle, it's a different pattern. Okay, I like to have a pattern for it and mine goes like this. I'll write it up here. The outside value times the whole value of one chord is equal to the outside value times the whole value of the second chord. So if one chord is purple, do it in purple. Let's write it out for this picture. The outside value is A. The entire secant here would be A plus B, whatever the length of A is plus whatever the length of B is. Now let's do the second chord. I'm doing it in orange here. The outside value is C. The whole value is whatever C plus D is. You combine the two. So this becomes our pattern for outside secants. If you have a tangent, this intersection is outside again, so let's keep the same pattern, but watch how it changes. If we go outside times whole for the top, well, that outside number is A and the whole number is A. So that's A squared, A times A. The second um, figure here is a secant line, and that would also be outside times whole. Whatever we do on one side, we do on the other side. So that outside value is B, and the whole thing is the sum of B plus C. All right, so inside intersections, part times part. Outside intersections, outside times whole. Let's do a couple of examples here. I've got several to look at. Check out example one. Obviously, this is an inside intersection. Okay, so these are going to be part one times part two is equal to part one times part two. Two colors. Part one times part two is equal to part one times part two. Okay, I'll do one chord in purple. The two parts of this chord are x and 10, so I'll have x times 10. The other chord I'm doing in orange, and the two parts are 14 times 15. So this becomes our equation to solve. x times 10 is 10x, 14 times 15 is 
210. And now I can finish solving. Divide both sides by 10. 210 divided by 10 is 21. Okay, what if the algebra gets a little more intense? Check out number two over here. We're going to follow the same part uh, pattern. This is an interior intersection. So we're doing part one times part two equals part one times part two. Let's start with the purple cord. The two parts are four and five x minus one. So four times five x minus one, and I've written it this way because I have to distribute, is equal to the orange cord six times six, part one times part two. Okay, take a moment, use your algebra skills, and solve for x. Okay, I got x equals two. However, that's not what the question is asking me. This question is asking me to solve for b all the way to d. So I need to take my value of x and plug it back in. 5 times 2 minus 1. 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 minus 1 is 9. So this part of the chord is 9. Well, from b all the way to d is 9 and 4. So 9 plus 4 is 13. Just make sure we're reading the question. Okay, the next two problems, check out five and six here. They're both two secants that intersect on the outside of the circle. So we're gonna use this pattern of outside times whole is equal to outside times whole. Let's take a look. I'm gonna abbreviate, abbreviate. outside times whole I need an orange cord. So I've got the outside number is 9, and the entire piece, the entire secant, is 9 plus x. And that's going to be equal to the purple cord's outside times whole value. So outside is 8 times the whole thing is 8 plus 19. All right, I'll help you out on this algebra a little bit. We need to distribute on the left side. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times x is 9x. On the right side, there's no need to distribute. These are all numbers, so we can just do this math using the order of operations. I'm going to add my two numbers on the inside together first. 8 plus 19, that's 27 and then multiply it by the eight that's on the outside of the parentheses, and I get 216. Now, take a moment, moment and finish solving for x. When I finish solving for x, I got x equals 15. I want you to try to set up and solve number six for yourself. If you'd like to check my setup, I've stopped here so that you can compare. I'm using the outside times whole pattern. My orange cord, the outside value is 13. The entire length is whatever 13 plus x is. On my purple cord, the outside value is 10, and the entire length is whatever 10 plus 42 is. Okay, finish out this tough algebra problem. You got it. When I finished the algebra of this problem, I got that x is equal to 27. However, I'm not finished. The problem states find nl. nl is the entire length of my orange cord. So if I got 27 for nm and 13 for ml, then nl is asking me to add those together. 27 plus 13 is 40. We have two more examples on this page, and these two final examples are a secant and tangent combo. So it's type 3 up here in our notes. 
we're still going to use this outside times whole pattern. Let's do an example here. I've got outside times whole of one chord equals outside times whole of another chord. Okay, I've highlighted this X secant um, orange. It is the outside value and the whole value. On the purple secant, the outside value is 27. The whole length is 27 plus 21. Well, whenever you multiply something by itself, that's called squaring. X times X is X squared. Here on the right, let me do some arithmetic. 27 plus 21 is 48, and 48 times 27 is 1,296. In order to get X alone here, I need to use the inverse of a square. I need to use a square root. A square root and a square cancel each other out. And the square root of 1,296 is 36. I want you to try number 12 all by yourself. Good luck. My final answer is x equals 5. If you're lost here, or if I've lost you in any of this algebra, why don't you just come see me and let me know um, where you got stuck, and I'll walk you through it live. Um, I, or if you could read my um, work over here, that would also be a good way. All right, we have one more to go. Check out the next video for page 4.